here in Minnesota. Federal government findings show the city of Minneapolis was denied funding for the wrong reasons. City officials applied for a $1 million grant to reduce crime and drug overdoses, but it was denied. A new watchdog report regarding the 2020 funding program found that the justification for denying the application contained, quote, critical errors in it. Brittany Ehrman dove into this report to find out why. Over three years ago, this bold statement made by some Minneapolis council members after the murder of George Floyd had consequences. Back in 2020, under the Trump administration, the former Bureau of Justice Program's acting director was in charge of handing out grants. The city of Minneapolis applied for $900,000 in federal funding to reduce crime and opioid-related overdoses. But this audit found that funding was denied despite meeting all the basic eligibility requirements and scoring second highest out of the 212 applicants. Without those resources, we were not able to really address the critical needs of people. Federal documents show the application was denied because of a concern the defund the police movement advocated by some city council members would quote prevent the proper administration of the funds. But officials call the reasoning for denying Minneapolis the funding quote inadequate because it contained quote critical errors and omissions. I'm really sad and disappointed to hear that those kinds of political decisions are being made by the Department of Justice. Is the federal government sending out this report and saying the justification is inadequate, is that enough? Not in my mind not to just acknowledge that it was wrong to be denied without correcting the problem is egregious as well. And the report says the director did not break the law by denying the application. The Federal Bureau plans to improve oversight of how these funds are distributed by having policies and procedures in place to make sure applications are evaluated with accuracy. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear from a local nonprofit about why these funds are so important. Live in the newsroom tonight, Brittany Ehrman, 5 Eyewitness News.